In this video, we are talking about open versus enclosed craft lasers. We're gonna focus specifically on safety and I'm gonna help you figure out which model is gonna be right for your craft room. Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings, where I share simple projects and in-depth reviews and tutorials to help you on your creative journey. Today, we are talking about lasers. We have been talking about lasers for a while on this channel. A few years ago, craft lasers that you can use in your home came onto the scene. These were affordable, and they allowed us to take our craft to the next level. In the past year alone, we have seen an explosion of new lasers from all kinds of different companies. So now, if you're looking to get a laser, the options are kind of endless, and so it can be difficult to make a decision. So today's video is all about choosing the safest laser for your craft room. Safety should always be a high priority when you are doing any type of craft, from cutting with the scissors to cutting with a laser. So in this video, we are looking at two types of lasers. We are looking at something like this on top. This is an open style laser versus an enclosed model like this one on the bottom. You can take the information in this video and apply it really to any open and any enclosed laser. We're not necessarily talking about power and speed and functionality. If you wanna learn more specifics about those, there are a ton of videos that I have linked down in the description. Today, we're just gonna focus on the safety and compare an open versus an enclosed laser. So for this video, I pulled out two lasers for some specific reasons. This one on top here is an Artur laser that was actually my first laser. It is the machine that got me into laser crafting. And then I pulled out the Axtool S1. I love this machine. And I decided to compare both of these because they are both diode lasers. Different in power and capability, but they're both the same type of laser. There are lots of other versions of open lasers out there. There's a ton of different companies that make them. Uh, this specific model from Ortur is no longer made, but there are a lot of other models that Ortur makes similar to this. The X-Tool makes both open and enclosed lasers. The other enclosed lasers include the X-Tool M1. Uh, you have the S1 here. And then there are other companies that make enclosed diode lasers like the We Create Vision or the Glowforge Aura. So let's start by talking about open lasers and some of the pros to these lasers. First of all, they are affordable. There is not much to this machine right here. It is kind of an open gantry style with a laser head here, a couple outlets for your power cord and your USB cord. They tend to be really lightweight and they're really straightforward. They're not very complicated machines. Most open lasers like this, especially the very basic ones, don't have their own software. So they operate on something like a very basic laser GRBL or the paid version of Lightburn. Both of those are great softwares, but you do have limited options on what you can do with the software and the machine. An open laser on the inexpensive side like this is a great way to get into crafting with a laser. So now let's talk about some of the cons of an open style like this. The number one con is that it's open. So when I used this, when I had this first set up in my craft room, all my windows were open. I had a fan pointing at the laser so that any smoke kind of go out the window. I wore glasses and more often than not, I wore a mask because I didn't wanna breathe in all of the fumes that were coming off the wood. I also found that my home, especially when cutting and engraving wood, would kind of smell like a campfire. Because it's open, that smoke is just kind of going wherever. This is the laser head right here. And so you definitely want to wear glasses because you don't want to be looking at that laser directly. For that reason, I made sure that there was no one else around when I was using this laser. So my family kind of had to leave or I had to do it when they were not around. One other downside of these open lasers is there's not a huge amount of room for expansion. Some of the more expensive models, like the D1 from X-Tool, that does allow you to expand. You can actually do rotary engraving on those. Um, you can put a conveyor, not necessarily conveyor, but you can raise it up and you can put larger materials underneath. But an inexpensive model like this doesn't really allow for much expansion. So now let's talk about enclosed lasers. And again, I'm focusing on the S1 here, but most of these principles are gonna to apply to other enclosed lasers, like the X-Tool M1, the We Create Vision, or the Glowforge Aura. 
when you have an enclosed machine, it generally means that that machine can operate at higher power and higher speeds because it is safely enclosed. So this machine is actually a 40 watt laser, which I would not feel comfortable with if that was in an open style model. Most of these enclosed layers, lasers can be expanded in some way. They come with a riser base or a way to rise it up. They can come with a pass-through slot or a conveyor allowing you to do longer jobs. And they have attachments like a chuck or a rotary to do round or circular objects. Most enclosed lasers are going to come fully assembled. While these open ones are not difficult to assemble, it is still a little bit of work you need to put in. Something like the S1 is gonna come like this right out of the box. Another feature I really like is the positioning. So because they're enclosed, a lot of these lasers have a camera that when you close the machine, you can see your material on your software and you know where to place your designs. The S1 happens to have a pinpoint positioning system, which works almost the same as a camera, and it's a really good positioning system. But those options are available because it's enclosed. One other difference between the open and enclosed models are autofocus. On open models, you have to focus this manually. So with this laser head here, I would need to put the material underneath, adjust the height of the laser head to focus it. With most enclosed models, autofocus is gonna happen for you. Now let's focus on safety specifically here. This has this kind of green tinted lid, which mimics the green goggles you wear for most open lasers. I do not need to wear goggles when working on this. And if I were to put the riser base under this and raise it up, it still stays fully enclosed, keeping my eyes safe. Because it's enclosed, it has a vent hose that goes out the back and all of the fumes are taken out with it. I actually have a fan system hooked up to this. You can take a look at that video if you want to learn how to do that. So I really don't smell much of anything when I use this laser, which is a huge perk. Enclosed X-Tool lasers, specifically the S1, come with some great fire safety features. There is flame detection and a fire safety kit that you can get. So if something does go wrong inside of there, you know that you have options to keep yourself safe. This S1 and a lot of other enclosed lasers are class one lasers. That is an FDA classification in the US. And it just means that this was looked at by more people than just the company that made it. It's another just peace of mind that this is a really safe piece of equipment that you can use in your home. When I first got into laser crafting, I knew a diode laser was the way to go. Both of these are diode machines. Almost everything I own is a diode laser. It's just a great affordable way to get into laser crafting. So when I first got into this, there wasn't an affordable enclosed model on the market. You almost had to go with these open ones unless you wanted to spend thousands of dollars. In the past year, there has been an explosion of options for enclosed lasers. If I were to start in laser crafting today, I would 100% opt for an enclosed model. Now, choosing an enclosed model can be kind of difficult. There's comparison videos down in the description. If you want to take a look, I can help you figure out which model is right for you. I love this S1. It's a 40-watt laser. It is big. It's fast. The X-Tool also has the M1, which is a 10-watt laser, and I actually have it right over there, another machine that I really like for different reasons. If you already have a laser, maybe you already have an open model laser like the one I started out with, I would definitely lean toward an enclosed model. The X-Tool S1 is a great version, but there are others out there as well. Again, I have a ton of laser videos for you to take a look at. So you're in, if you're in the market or you're wanting to know how to use your laser, definitely take a look at the other videos I have available. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here a couple times a week with new videos helping you on your creative journey. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.